Six free and fun things to do in New Orleans that you might not find on TripAdvisor by Shiny Visions. New Orleans has so much to offer, but if you are searching for some fun things that don't cost money, this list is for you. Here we go. Number one, go to the Port of New Orleans cruise terminal and watch a cruise ship loading. Cruise schedules are posted online. Now, don't laugh, because we had so much fun doing this. This port serves major ocean cruise lines like Carnival, Disney, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian. Mississippi River cruises leave from this port as well. Today, the Carnival Dream will set sail in just a few hours for a five-day cruise to Cozumel and Roatan. This massive ocean vessel can accommodate 3,700 guests in 1,800 rooms with a crew of over 1,300 to take care of it all. This behemoth of a floating city contains pools, restaurants, bars, theaters, and a casino distributed across its 13 decks. We watched as passengers lined up to enter the terminal for check-in, pulling large pieces of luggage behind them. These voyagers, some already wearing Hawaiian print shirts and wide-brimmed sun hats, waited in anticipation, knowing that soon they would be sitting on their balconies, sipping fruity drinks as their ship cruises towards tropical paradise. Meanwhile, on the nearby loading dock, there is much work to be done. Stacked suitcases are lined up next to the ship, awaiting to be delivered to staterooms. Semi-trucks full of food arrive, their doors opened, and forklifts unload their cargo to an adjacent staging area, where another forklift moves them to the ship. A third forklift inside the ship then transfers the pallets to the ship's hold. It is all performed smoothly and seamlessly, like a finely choreographed and well-practiced dance. We noted with fascination the quantity of food it took to feed over 5,000 people for five days. Cruises are renowned for their boundless quantities of food available to passengers any time of day. We watched in awe as workers unloaded multiple pallets of bottled water, cans of Coca-Cola products, sacks of flour, rice, vegetables, onions, potatoes, burger and hot dog buns, pasta, and so much more. There were pallets stacked with cases of whiskey, rum, tequila, and wines. Though a lot of food, the quantities are actually precisely calculated, and by the time this ship returns to port, its storage room will be nearly empty, ready for a repeat of this same operation as the ship prepares for their next excursion and a new group of passengers. Number two, take the public ferry across the mighty Mississippi to Algiers at sunset. No, it's not a long ride, but beautiful nonetheless. Some of the best views of the city are from the Canal Street Algiers Ferry while you are right in the middle of the Mississippi River. The setting sun casts rosy streaks across the clouds, creating a bright backdrop for the waterfront hotels and other tall buildings along the shoreline. Spend some time exploring historic Algiers, then return on the ferry at night. The lights of the buildings and nearby bridges will sparkle in the darkness as you feel the evening's gentle river breezes. It's a cheap way to view the city's skyline and intricate French Quarter roofscape from the river. It makes for a lovely and enjoyable evening. Number three, check out the New Orleans cemeteries. They are like none other you will see in the U.S. One of the city's oldest cemeteries, founded in 1833, is the Lafayette Cemetery No. 1, located in the Garden District. Some call these places cities of the dead because many of the graves look like small buildings and entomb multiple family members. Also, these cemeteries are organized by streets and even street signs. Because of southern Louisiana's high water table with much of the land below sea level, the ground gets waterlogged during heavy rains. 
In the past, family members had to put heavy objects on burial sites to ensure that the flood waters wouldn't wash away their loved ones. Above ground burial sites was the answer and over the years these tomb designs became architecturally, culturally, and historically distinct. Above ground burial was common practice in France and Spain where many of the early settlers originated so this concept was really not that unusual for New Orleans. Many tombs contain eight to ten members. So how is it that several bodies can be placed inside these tombs? When a corpse is first placed there, because of the hot subtropical climate, the tomb basically acts as an oven with the high heat causing the body to decompose rapidly. It has been called a slow cremation. Within about a year, only bones are left. After that, to make room for the next occupant, the bones of the first deceased are swept into an opening in the floor of the tomb. Names and dates of the occupants are displayed on the outside of the grave site. This procedure is not only considered sanitary and efficient, it also helps alleviate the growing demands for land space. Burial sites at Lafayette Cemetery No. 1 show the vestiges of neglect with cracked and crumbling tombs and worn and illegible nameplates. It is currently closed for improvements, but during my 2019 visit to this graveyard, though in various states of disrepair, the place is lovely in an artful sort of way. Long sweeping branches of magnolia and southern live oak trees arch over and shade historic tombs their decaying structures providing a glimpse into the grandeur of a bygone era. Number four, take a walk through the lively French Quarter. Music blares from open bar doors, bright strobe lights pulsate through their windows, momentarily silhouetting dancers as they bop to the beat of the live band while balancing plastic cups of beer or other libations with one hand. Rowdy crowds fill the streets, milling about, meeting friends, chattering, and laughing together. Vendors offer up trinkets, balconies filled with revelers who shout down to the crowds below. Tonight, there is a wedding ceremony, and after their vows were done, the wedding party took to the streets. Bride, groom, family, friends, and attendants paraded through the French Quarter in their wedding finery accompanied by a Dixieland jazz band. What fun! This gentleman, who happens to be a voodoo priest, is telling about hauntings and mysteries in the French Quarter on his ghost tour. We stopped in one of our favorite shops, the Pepper Place, where we tasted hot sauces of every variety. Number five. Explore the lovely neighborhoods of New Orleans. In a previous video, Homes of New Orleans Go Take a Walk, I captured the eclectic and beautiful homes of the Big Easy. Early morning in the city of New Orleans is a magical time, though enjoying lively bar and music scenes will definitely keep you up late at nights. Be sure to make time to take an early morning stroll around the city. That is the time while the crowd still sleep you have the best opportunity to see and appreciate the beauty and character of New Orleans. Its neighborhoods are charming, historic, lovely, and not to be missed. Whether they are smaller shotgun style homes or glorious mansions in the Garden District, they reflect the city's rich history and are gems. Number six, walk along the Mississippi Riverfront. We all studied about this great river in school. It is a huge part of the American identity. This map shows the significance of New Orleans in relation to the entire stretch of the Mississippi River. After flowing through several states, this major river empties into the Gulf of Mexico at New Orleans, which makes the city a major river hub for travel and commerce. Mark Twain said that the Mississippi River was a wonderful book with a new story to tell every day. At this riverfront area that is adjacent to the French Quarter, experience its entertainment, natural splendor, art, and historical memorials. 
Bring a picnic lunch or purchase po'boys or local seafood. Watch the joggers and other passers-by or just sit and take in the whole atmosphere. You might see community events and celebrations which are also held on this mile-long stretch of riverfront. Occasionally, street musicians add to the festive climate. But there's plenty to see on the Mississippi River as well. It's one of the world's busiest waterways. You can observe tankers, freighters, cruise ships, paddle boats, tugs, and long barges as they navigate past, laden with cargo and passengers. I hope you have a chance to check out these activities listed here, six free and fun things to do in New Orleans that you might not find in TripAdvisor. Thanks for watching. This is Shiny Visions.